sit down on my knees to pray. I don't memorize the books of the Bible. Cause I've got my own special way. Well, I know Jesus loves me. I'd have to say, Mary, just a little bit more. Jesus. A little chocolate Jesus is not of your day. Tom Waits, the amazing, amazing, amazing talent of Tom Waits rocking the stage there. My gosh. Marcus Conte reporting. Good morning, good morning, good morning. New York time, New York time. It's New York time, early in the morning. And uh, watch, hell, man, have you watched the... Have you watched the impeachment debate, man? Have you watched the hearings? Uh, that's the word on the street. Have you watched the hearings? Oh, my God. They're, they're going to impeach the president. We're living through a time where they're going to preach, impeach the president. What did he do? I don't know, but they're going to impeach him. They're going to impeach him. He, he did something. Nobody really knows. That's fucking bullshit. It doesn't matter anyway. Whatever the, whatever the hearings... Uh, whatever's going on in those hearings doesn't really matter because, again, the choice, the decision has been made. Republicans will vote one way and Democrats will vote the other. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, I, I found a, a highlight uh, kind of clip. It's, that'll be most of this video. We'll just watch some of the, uh, the highlights of the nonsense, the, act, the absolute uh, intellectual jostling where if you have an R next to your name, that's what you believe. You believe that, that President Trump is innocent. If you have a D next to your name, President Trump is the, is, the, is the devil, is evil. He must die. He's the orange monster. That motherfucker impeached the motherfucker. If you're an R, President Trump is... President, President Trump is wonderful. President Trump has done nothing wrong. President Trump is a master, a master strategist and, and will... Whatever you pick. Right? Pick a side, right? Pick a side, man. Which side are you on, boy? You got to be on one side or the other. You can't just you can't just be a spectator because if you say it's just like impeachment is bullshit, then, then people will turn around and say, oh, you're, you're pro-Trump. Conti, you're for Trump. You're for Trump. You're, you're a closet Trumper. <laughs> you're for Trump. Uh, that's what they'll say about you. If, you're, if you say, you know, Trump, Trump uh, stepped over the line, and that means that means uh, the Democrats are within their rights to start an inquiry. Then you're you're for uh, you're for Hillary, <laughs> you're for Biden. <laughs> uh, we're living in crazy times, man. Rigged elections, rigged primaries, rigged rigged uh, polling data, fake news, impeachment uh, hearings that don't make sense. So we'll look at that uh, for the bulk of the show, and then. Uh, well, look at uh, this flooding in, in uh, Venice. Venice, Italy is underwater, right? It's fucking crazy shit. Just take some some riveting imagery coming out of uh, uh, Venice. The tide rises and then suddenly all of the streets. I mean, the, the city's built on water. Uh, you build a city on water, you should expect that at some point the water is going to come up and, and bite you in your ass. Uh, so Italy is underwater. Uh, not all of it, just Venice. And uh, Hong Kong's still raging on, man. Youth of Hong Kong. Youth of Hong Kong. That should be a band name, man. Somebody should start a metal band, a, 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 a hardcore band. The y Youth of Hong Kong. <laughs> should, right? It's a good name. It's a good name, man. If somebody does that, man, I get credit for that, right? I get credit. So, where do we want to start? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go to Venice. So, apocalyptic flooding, stunning images as Venice endures. I'm not going to talk about this too much. I'm going to get right into the impeachment. Just have some patience and learn a little about the world that you live in. Stop being so, so, so one-sided and one-story-like. Right? Learn about the world. That's why you're here. You're here to open your mind, open your heart to others, Right? Get on a plane sometime. Go visit. I've been to Venice. I could talk about Venice because I've been. My boots are on the ground in Venice. 
all the way back in the 80s. I, I know I know Italy, right? I fed the pigeons in, in Mar- San Marco, pa- uh, uh, Palazzo San Marco. I, I used to speak Italian. I spoke Italian fucking once upon a time. <laughs> so, um, so apo- I, I digress. Apocalyptic flooding, stunning images as Venice endures second highest tide in history. Wow, that's all it takes. Right? It takes a, a perfect storm, high tide. A storm comes in, pushes the waves up at perfect high tide, and then it floods the uh, uh, the uh, the land. Uh, so it happened here in in um, um, what was it? Sandy, I guess. I don't remember. Yeah, Sandy. So when the there was a, uh, a hurricane, a hurricane came into New York Harbor. And it wouldn't have been a big deal if it wasn't high fucking tide, right? Because the high tide adds another six feet to the storm swell. So the swell is pushing 10 feet, which, you know, that's damage. But then it, it, that extra high tide throws it over the, throws it over the, uh, the uh, uh, wall, whatever that's called, uh, the water wall, the water boundary, right? So it happened uh, twice um, in Venice history. Stunning images have come out of the historic city of Venice, which has been hit uh, with cat- catastrophic floods due to the second highest tide recorded in the city's history, bringing water levels higher over city square and footpaths also amid extreme winds and rain. It's the wind that does it, because when the wind blows, right, surfers know this, when the wind blows, it pushes down on the water, causing the swell. That's what causes the waves and the increased uh, 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 inland uh, uh, levels of water. So here's some of the images. That's Palazzo San Marco. There's no people, right? You got imagine if you were selling boots right now. I had fucking Italian rubber boots right to the waist, right? Because you don't want to be slapping around in there. It's 50 degrees in Italy right now. It's cold. That's cold water. They're wearing hoods and, and coats. But uh, we'll see one brave Italian, fucking Fabio, took a dive in the water. Watch this shit, man. You'll love it. So uh, it's called sell boots, man. Italian boot rubber, rubber boots, man. Fucking beyond, <laughs> put an Italian name on it. Fucking sell some rubber boots, man. Storm boots. Early Wednesday, about fifty percent of the city had been uh, reported flooded by the unusual tide, and some reports uh, as much as eighty-five percent of the of the city is underwater. Uh, it impacted fifty-three thousand residents at the low tourism cycle. It is. It's low. It's low season right there. Nobody wants to walk around in 50 degree, 45 degree Italy, you know, fucking windy and rainy and it's quiet. At least two dead. So let's watch some video. This is, this is some pretty cool. Look at this shit. There's waves in the street. This is how sandy it was in some parts of the city. I was a coward. I stayed in. I went out with my camera that day. And, and I said, yeah, I'm going to film it. And I said, then, Right? The cameras, you kind of hold the camera, right? And before it blows out of your hand, but the trees, trees are scary, man. Fucking trees are bending. So watch this shit. This is when it was really hot. Check this guy out, man. This guy's rocks. This guy's a rock star. Watch. This is Fabio. Fabio, take a bow. Ah, oh, me. The Italian man. It's 45 degrees, man. It's like cold. It's warm. Let's see how deep it is, right? So he's 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 probably like a he's let's give him the benefit of that. He's six two Italian man. He's a beautiful Italian Fabio, right? He's probably like six two. Right? Up to your waist. It's about three feet of water, man. Maybe a little a, a little yeah, about three feet. Wow. Three feet of water. And Fabio is taking a swim. So if you have a if you have some residency there, you know, your whole shit is underwater. Your whole shit is underwater. Look, here's all the uh, monuments, the uh, the churches, underwater, Palazzo San Marco underwater. It's a beautiful picture, by the way. Here's another one. Right? Walking around in Venice, this is what you see. Get your boots on. Get your boots. Your boots. So again, it's a city built on water. It'll, it'll drink. So let's go to Hong Kong. So what's going on in Hong Kong? Hong Kong, fucking. Let's see a wild video. Watch this shit. Hong Kong police are getting serious, man. They are not fucking around. Look at this shit, man. 
just look at the still first. You see, the door flies open. Now, we don't know particularly why the cops are kicking the door open, Jason. But watch this scene, man. So one cop, see up here? Put your eye on the, on the white van. One cop sticking his head out. This guy's already running. I don't know if that's a cop, but watch this shit. Watch this. They tell you, they tell you, put your hands up, or then they start shooting. If you, if you resist, that's uh, so crazy shit. Oh. Fucking scene that is, man. That's real, right? So, so they're fighting back. The protesters there are fighting back. A protester got killed, and they're pissed off. Uh, it's civil war, man. Thirty, you know, thirty percent of the country is rising up. It's a lot, a lot of people, man. Mostly young people. I know some Chinese that said it. Uh, they said the young people are not taking this shit lightly, man. They're fighting back. Arrows. Look at some of the imagery. Cocktail bombs. Those are motherfuckers, man. You get hit with that. Right, and it's on fire, and the gas hits you. You go up, on, you go up in flames, man. It's a fucking serious weapon right there. Some of this shit, I don't know what that is. Uh, fucking, these are, oh man, you want to give somebody a flat? Put some, put some nails in a in a plastic tube, right? And cops drive over that shit. Pop, pop, beam, pop, 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 pop. To uh, disperse the tear gas, very clever. These are those those fucking weed blowers. You know the shit that. That you're walking by on a sidewalk, I don't know, in the city, we see it all the time. It blows blows the leaves, the, the leaves off of the sidewalk. And you just stick that in the you stick that up a cop's ass, right? That's what you do. You take it, you run up to the cop when he's coming at you, and you get up behind him, you stick this up his ass, right? And then you pull the trigger. Uh, so you do it, you blow his ass out. Here's another one. This is a uh, tennis racket to swat the smoke bombs, right? They throw smoke bombs at you, you swat them back. And, wow, this guy's getting his head cracked open. That's a great vi image right there. Fucking literally. There's his head getting cracked open. And uh, that's probably our friend from before got tackled. Fucking So it's crazy shit, man. What's it all about? I don't know. They say it's about, um, you know, 22-year-old protest student died last week from injuries sustained in a fall. They, they're, they're fighting for freedom. They don't want the Chinese to come in and take over their country. Their little, little, uh, you know, city, state, whatever it is, right? Keep the Chinese out. They're free people. They've been free for hundreds of years. And the Chinese want to come in there and shit on them. Right? So we don't have it any better. Right? So let's talk about impeachment. Right? So this is going to be, we'll just play some video clips and talk about shifty shift. This is a good uh, uh, analysis. My take on it, if you've been waiting all this time to watch the impeachment shit, is simple. It's that it doesn't matter. None of it matters, right? You, they could sit there for, for two months, 12 hours a day, hundreds of witnesses, hundreds of cross-examinations, millions of opinions flying back and forth. None of that matters. Why? Because the, num the answer is here, right? This is the answer, right? See, the, see the, the breakdown of the House of Representatives? There is 435 people in the House of Representatives in the United States of America. And 233 of those are Democrats, and 197 of those are Republican. You see how the difference? You see the difference? The one independent, a couple of vacancies. Uh, so, the, so the decision is already made. If you are a Democrat, you will vote in the House of Representatives to impeach the president. Right? I'm using, I don't need, I'm taking my crystal ball out. I see it. I could see, I see, I'm looking into the crystal ball, and I see... Trump being impeached in the House. You don't have to be a psychic to figure that shit out. Right? It's easy. And so then it gets passed to the Senate. Pow. 100 people in the Senate. What's the majority? 53 Republicans to 47 Democrats. No deal. Uh, so the, the House will vote to impeach. They pass it to the Senate for trial. The I believe the chief of uh, chief justice 
uh, of the Supreme Court will oversee the, the Senate um, trial, and then they will vote to not impeach Trump, to not remove him from office, to not convict. So that's it. That's the whole thing right there, right? So, so that's what's going to happen, right? And, and uh, you know, so th these guys in the Post are doing this uh, analysis. One day of impeachment was not exactly a must-see for TV. Um, but this, this congressional hearing determines the fate of the President of the United States. Uh, it, it, would, it, it would call it a, I would call it a sensational flop, except that uh, that would suggest a sense of drama it was just, it was just such, it was a slugfest. It was so obvious, so clear. So let's watch some highlights. Uh, Devin Nunes, I know if you're a Republican, you're cheering him on, you want to see Trump defended. But uh, it, again, it really doesn't matter, right? You have to, if you really wanted that, you would have been paying attention in 2018 and got more of your R's in there instead of the D's, right? After the spectacular implosion of their Russia hoax on July 24th, in which they spent years denouncing any Republican who ever shook hands with a Russian, on July 25th, they turned on a dime and now claim the real malfeasance is Republicans' dealings with Ukraine. Mr. Chairman, will you be prohibiting witnesses from answering members' questions as you have in the closed-door depositions? Uh, as the gentlewoman should know, if she was present for the deposition, which I was, Mr. for Chairman. some of them, yes, correct. Um, the uh, the only times I prevented witnesses from answering questions, uh, along with their counsel, was when it was apparent that members were seeking to out the whistleblower. We will do everything necessary to protect the whistleblower's identity. Uh, Mr. So Chairman, so only so one member the and their staff the on this will. committee has direct knowledge of the identity of the whistleblower. The will suspend. You asked a parliamentary inquiry, and I am responding or point of order, I'm responding. I want members to feel free to ask any questions they like. Mr. This Chairman, I'd like to motion, make a motion, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry, this is an opportunity the for members to and get all ask the rest any questions the they like. The, the gentleman is not recognized. Mr. Conaway, um, Mr. Conaway Mr. I'm, I'm responding to the gentlewoman's point of order. Otherwise, members will have every opportunity to ask any questions they like. Um, Mr. Conaway, do you seek recognition for what purpose? I seek recognition <clears throat> to make a motion that we actually subpoena the whistleblower for a closed door secret uh, depositions. We will entertain a motion to subpoena any witness, uh, but after the witnesses have had an opportunity to testify, that, that you, motion will be in order, but that motion will be suspended until after the witnesses right, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, do you, do you anticipate when we would vote on that? What purpose does Mr. Jordan seek recognition? Just to ask a, a clarifying question, do you anticipate when we... It's total bullshit so far. Right? It's just jostling. That's how the whole thing went. They interviewed some guy. Let's watch it a little more. I'll watch it five we minutes. Might vote on the ability to have the whistleblower in front of us, something you, of the 435 members of Congress, you are the only member who knows who that individual is, and your staff is the only staff of any member of Congress who's had a chance to talk with that individual. We would like that opportunity. When might that happen in this proceeding today? First, as the gentleman knows, that's a false statement. I do not know the identity of the whistleblower, and I'm determined to make sure that identity is protected. Now, there is one witness. There's a 100% chance that he knows the identity of the whistleblower. You fucking liar. You liar, Shift. You're a fucking liar. One witness that they won't bring in front of us, they won't bring in front of the American people. And that's the guy who started it all, the whistleblower. Nope. 435 members of Congress. Only one gets to know who that person is. Only one member of Congress has a staff that gets to talk to that person. The rest of us don't. Only Chairman Schiff knows who the whistleblower is. We don't. We will never get the chance. We will never get the chance to see the whistleblower raise his right hand, swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. We'll never get that chance. More importantly, the American people won't get that chance. This anonymous so-called whistleblower with no first-hand knowledge, who's biased against the president, who worked with Joe Biden, who is the reason we're all sitting here today, will never get a chance to question that individual. <laughs> Democrats are trying to impeach the president based on all that. All that? Eleven and a half months before an election? We'll not get to check out his credibility, his motivations, his bias. I said this last week, but this is this is a sad day. Uh, thank you. I say to my colleague, I'd be glad to have uh, the, the person who started it all come in and testify. Uh, President Trump is welcome uh, to take a seat right there. <laughs> 
you the goddamn circus yourself mr chairman have mischaracterized the call in fact in the first open the hearing will suspend. you had a the gentle, parody the gentlewoman will suspend um by unanimous consent be happy to enter the call record into the record if i go to and i'll, I'll allow the question but um are you are asking you really are you parliamentary inquiry are you seriously interrupting our time no, here? I, I will allow the question i won't i won't dock this from the time have you learned anything yet <laughs> um i just want to be clear ambassador if you're able to verify the things that counsel has asked you in the prerequisite of the question, that's fine. Otherwise, in questions from the majority or the minority that may assume facts not in evidence before you, uh, you should be cautioned about that. Mr. Chairman, point of order. The time is with uh, Mr. Uh, with Minority Counsel. Uh what a waste of fucking time. What a waste of taxpayer money. What a waste of, uh, of, of political energy. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ratcliffe. Chairman, um, I sat here through the first 45 minutes and literally had an objection to almost the foundation of every question that Mr. Goldman asked regarding facts not in evidence, leading. But House Resolution 660 does not say that we, under, we are under the federal rules of evidence. If it is your position that I should be asserting objections to questions that violate the federal rules of evidence, let me know now, because this hearing is going to change significantly. As I said, Mr. Radcliffe, I will allow the question. I, I think the gentleman has a different question uh, about the rules. So what are the rules that are going to govern this? Does the ranking member seek recognition? I'm, I'm asking, I'm yielding you. To a, for a question, to a question I just asked you. For what purpose do you seek recognition? To answer Mr. Ratcliffe's question. I have answered it. You may no, resume your question. Respectfully, Mr. Chairman, um, you haven't answered my question whether or not I should be asserting assumes facts not in evidence or leading uh, objections to questions that are posed from this point forward. That's my question. Mr. Ratcliffe, I'll say once again, I'm not objecting to the question, but I am instructing the witness that they should not presume questions from the majority or the minority that may represent facts not in evidence uh, are correct. Um, this is, I have, I have uh, answered a question. We will resume the questioning and resume the clock. Was, was Hunter Biden a, a corporate governance expert? I have no idea what Hunter Biden studied at university or what his CV says. Mike, is he the, the Jeffrey Sonnenfeld of, of the Ukraine? Uh, I have no, uh, awareness or knowledge of what his background was and what he may have done on the board of okay, so you don't know whether he has any uh, um, business okay. experience have you had enough yet uh, so there you go you saw the oh uh, you're at I the impeachment hearings ah, man experience. you're a good american right? I do not as a as a as a law-abiding american as a, as a american interested in what's going on there what did you find out right, all you found out is that if you have a d next to your name whether Trump did it. If you have an R next to your name, Trump didn't do it. Uh, that's really about it, right? And what did he do? Who knows? He didn't do anything for me. I have no knowledge of uh, Hunter Biden. <laughs> if you ask me, agree, questions, Tom right? Waits does more for me than anybody, man. Does more for me than any of these guys. <laughs>